You are now in the Crazy Hills Galaxy. Enjoy the wild ride. You are now in the Crazy Galaxy. The WWE Women's Championship was on the line. WWE Monday Night. Raw, July 25th, 2016, and we had Charlotte, the champion, defending the belt against the boss, Sasha Banks, at Dana Brooke, who was at ringside, and Dana Brooke eventually gets thrown out, and Sasha Banks ends up winning and becoming the new and second WWE Women's Champion with under that new championship belt uh, and whatnot. So it was really an awesome match. You know, I'm looking forward to rewatching it again because that was an epic match finally 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 somebody defeated charlotte and won the women's championship from her uh you know i do like charlotte but the thing is is that her i couldn't respect her reign as champion because uh brick flair or dana brooke was always interfering and getting her to win the match i believe the only match that uh, i don't even you know, I don't even remember one match where the championship was on the line where Charlotte didn't win it by some kind of, uh, you know, help. You know, so if I'm wrong, leave me a comment down below. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that anytime she won and, rega and retained the championship, she had help by either Daddy Ric Flair or by Dana Brooke. I'm hoping that, uh, you know, there ends up being some tension between uh, Charlotte and Dana and Dana and Charlotte turns on Dana for her losing the championship. I'm, I'm hoping we get a rematch at SummerSlam with the two of them, uh, well, Charlotte and Sasha, in some kind of, like, maybe ladder match or uh, submission match, something, you know, where there's no interference, where nobody can help you win the match, you know, something that would be fun. Well, a ladder match, somebody couldn't interfere, but in a submission match, it would be submission victory only. The only way you can win is by submission. And Charlotte, Sasha Banks finally wins it. I'm super happy for the Boston native from Boston, Massachusetts. The boss, Sasha Banks, wins the Women's Championship on an epic day in the new era of Monday Night Raw, where things have changed, where we, you know, we had the draft, and we have the split, and we are, are going to be crowning a new WWE champion, and it will be called the Universal Champion at SummerSlam 2016, and that is going to be a fun match, but here we had of a boss, Sasha Banks, winning, and me and Big Doug Jimmy are wicked excited for the future of the women's division with Sasha Banks as the champion, where she doesn't, well, uh, you know, she doesn't have, you know, victories of way of debacles, you know, of somebody helping her and it being a sham and not being a respectable win where Sasha Banks won in a respectable manner, in my opinion. I had to clear my throat real quick. <clears> throat> I don't know what's going on in my throat right now. So it was a really enjoyable match. I'm mean, really glad that Sasha Banks won. It was awesome that she is now the new WWE Women's Champion of WWE's Raw brand. What will SmackDown do to combat it? There are rumors. I have a video up about rumors about the uh, SmackDown Live's brand with what they're going to do with their women's division with the Women's Championship uh, about them. Uh, rumored to be bringing back the Divas Championship and how they're going to crown their new champion. Hit that like button, leave me a comment, and subscribe.